Hello guys, I'm with another tutorial. This is a React Native uh, development tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use SVGs in your React Native web. Uh, I'm using TypeScript for this uh, development, and this is not an Expo uh, type application. This is React Native client type application. So to use SVGs in my application, I'm using a custom library. Uh, I'm using this library uh, called React Native SVG Transformer. All right, so I'm gonna implement all these steps uh, step by step, and I'm gonna show you how to use SVGs. So first I have created a new project, uh, and as you can see, when I change the value, let's say like this uh, as you can see uh, I can see the preview in uh, this uh, screen so not a big deal this is just a fresh start alright so first uh, according to the documentation um, first I must have an SVG file uh, I can use uh, I can download any SVG file from the, uh, online, but I'm going to create an SVG using Illustrator. So for that, I'm going to open Illustrator. Alright, so this is a simple shape. I'm going to export this shape into my project export selection and let's name this circle. Oh, I can say ring, whatever. Alright, now I'm going to choose my project location. Let's see. How can I let me all right really an explorer all right this is my location uh, first I'm going to create a new folder to store my SVG file let's create assets folder and inside this assets folder I'm going to create another new folder uh, let's see SVG all right this is gonna be my location to save my SVG file reveal in explorer SVG all right I'm gonna copy this one and let's export all right I'm gonna select the SVG type export all right now back in my project um, I can see the file so uh, I had to uh, make some research, uh, researches and I found some things that uh, I should make some changes into this SVG in order to work with this file so first of all make sure only you should have SVG tag and the path tag alright so any other tags you should remove those otherwise it's not gonna work I don't know why but uh, for me it didn't work with these external tags uh, so I'm removing all the tags except SVG and path and in here I'm gonna add a new attribute to my SVG tag fill is none and I'm gonna remove this path I had to uh, do some researches uh, in order to find this all right now I'm gonna give this color the black one all right you should do the same um, I'm gonna show you how to uh, change the color from the uh, react native all right so don't worry I, I'm just uh, assign black color for now alright so the SVG file is ready 
let's go back to the documentation in here you can import your SVG file using this import statement I'm gonna change the, this to circle this can be any name alright you don't have to put the same name and I'm gonna select assets SVG circle dot SVG alright so at the beginning uh, there is an error so don't worry I'm gonna show you how to fix this so uh, next thing I'm gonna add this line in my uh, view I'm gonna remove the text and this is gonna be circle all right now um, I'm uh, using native react native client version this is not an expo uh, project so I'm going to skip this expo part in this documentation uh, there are two definition one for expo and one for react native so for expo you should follow this step and for the same step this is the react native uh, solution all right so in the next step it says uh, I have to create a new file called metro config um, I think this file is already contained in the project uh, but if this doesn't exit you have to create this file so uh, I'm going to open my project and you can see I have this file metro config and in that file you should uh at these code lines all right so i already have this code line in the file i'm gonna copy these two then in the config i'm gonna copy these five uh, code lines and paste it in here and again um this is going to be change currently it is using this method declaration but I, I now have assigned that to a new variable so I'm going to choose that alright now you can save this alright then um, let me see I might have missed some alright I have missed some of the steps so you have to first install the SVG so to do that uh, you have to first install the native SVG library you can follow this link and you can use either npm or yarn to download this I am using the yarn command I am opening a new terminal and let's run my yarn command there are two libraries you have to download alright so the first one you re is react native svg and the second one is uh, the custom library this uh, documentation is about this library so you have to download this one also after this alright that one is done now I'm gonna download this one alright so uh, those two steps are done um, this one is already also done and all right so the next thing is uh, if you are using TypeScript you should define this file all right so as I'm currently using the TypeScript I should declare is uh, declare this file in my project uh, this file won't come default by default you should create this one so I'm gonna create a new file uh, create that file in the root directory and copy this code it is not that big deal alright just copy and save alright 
next thing is you have to create another file but before that let's see uh, what happened to our error all right so now the error has gone now let's see our app is working I'm gonna save this one and let me fire up my application uh, let me refresh all right I'm getting an error let's see all right I'm going to uh, close this terminal and let's run this application again uh, let's run Android I'm not sure what is that error about all right so I'm gonna run again okay it is running let's wait a moment Alright, now I'm getting another error. Unable to load the script. Make sure you either run in Metro. Alright, so I'm going to do exactly what uh, it says. Alright, I'm gonna run npm npx react native start. I think it because I have uh, made some changes in these configuration files uh, and I haven't configured the bundler I think that is the reason alright so then I'm going to run my application again react native is kind of tricky uh, when you uh, do the development for the first time Alright, now as you can see, um, my SVG file has uh, now displaying uh, my screen. I'm going to change the size, let's say uh, 300, 320 by 320. Right, as you can see, when I change the width height, uh, according to that, uh, the SVG is resizing. Alright, so now I'm going to change the color let's see if I can change the color uh, I'm gonna see fill uh, let's say red as you can see uh, it doesn't work so to do that you have to follow a few more steps so when it comes to color and a SVG file uh, that is uh, why you need to assign this uh, create this new file called this dot svg rrc all right so i'm gonna copy this name uh, it is an extension name uh, and create a new file in the root directory like this all right now i'm gonna copy this code as you can see uh, it says that for example if you want to change SVG image color from red to current color this is the pattern you should write alright so currently my SVG file color is hash triple zero uh, so I should write that in here and this you should write props dot field so that is why I used hash triple zero alright I'm gonna copy this color uh, copy this code and paste it here so what this code does is this code will replace this part in the SVG code to this part alright this means the fill attribute value in my uh, tag alright so this value will replace by this value and this value 
let me show you this value it is here all right so this value will be replaced as this value all right i'm gonna save this one all right so it's still my uh, svg color doesn't uh, change so for uh, one last thing uh, i'm gonna do this step this is the final step uh, so i'm using this option you can use uh, one of the option so options uh, i'm using this one i'm gonna paste this code in the j test config js all right copy this code and just get just config js i'm gonna paste all right uh, save and i'm gonna list let's uh, refresh all right it's still the same color but uh, let me adjust some things i'm gonna cut this uh, fill uh, attribute and paste it in here refreshing all right so let me show you something very strange okay so i have uh, made uh, some uh, changes but still uh, this doesn't work as you can see uh, how much time I change the color it doesn't matter the color is not going to change in the SVG file but let me show you the strange thing that I found I'm just going to make an space in this uh, D value like this and now you can see the color has changed and let me show you in here I'm going to change it to 111 this is the 111 color and let's say red red green blue all right so now it is working so that's why I said this is really strange and this is really tricky I don't know the reason I think uh, this happened because uh, something to do with cash I don't know all right so but uh, you should pick your SVG file uh, very carefully and you have to change the these values uh, uh, work a little bit around these values to uh, make this work uh, otherwise uh, it won't work so in my case I just put any space in here and voila it is working so I don't know the real reason for this alright so this is it for this tutorial I will be back with another tutorial have a good day guys